Hi my loves and welcome back to another painting tutorial with me. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you in a beautiful sunset view. So for that, we can first get ready with a sheet or anything that you're painting on. You can always apply this kind of masking tape around the paper. So you can actually apply it first on a table like this so that the extra glue can get transferred and then you can just use it and the paper won't tear off later. All right, so now let's quickly go ahead and start painting. These are all the colors that we need today. You can always use acrylics or even watercolors. And another masking tape here just to remember where the sky and the land area would be. Step one, we're going to be painting the sunset. For that, I picked up this flat brush and I used water to just make my brush a little moist. And then I'm applying this brilliant purple shade and you can always mix little white color to it so that it is very lighter in shade. Once we do that, then I'm going to be picking up this very light shade of pink. Again, add a lot of white color to it because we want a very light background at this stage. And to blend both the colors from the center, you can always use a moist flat brush and just blend both the colors from the center. You can always add a little more water or color in case your colors are drying or the brush is not moving very smoothly. And moving downwards, we are now going to be picking up a little cadmium yellow color just to increase that beautiful saturation level and add that beautiful sunset layer on the sky. As it's summertime, so the colors will dry very quickly and in case even if your brush is not moving very smoothly like it's happening here, you can always add a little water to your color mix and you will be able to create clean blends. And one our tip here would be to get that fine merged end, you can always switch over to a new fresh brush which is moist and just blend in the center to get this kind of merged and blended effect. So once we do that, now we're going to be painting the clouds. I'm trying to create this kind of very rough and uneven flowing clouds. They do not have to be a specific shape. You can just move around like this and create random clouds on the sky. Remember, you can always use the corner tip end of your brush. So this way you will get a beautiful fine end. At the same time, you'll be able to create those fluffy center part of the cloud. So you can always follow this technique and enjoy painting clouds. Step 2, we are going to be painting the floral field area. To get started, we are going to be painting the beautiful rays that are going to fall on this field. So let's do that. It's basically all those bright and saturated colors that will create beautiful color on the ground. So we are first going to do that. And then later, we are going to be painting the flowers and that green area on top of it later.
as we now have the background already so then we are going to be picking up this kind of pointed fine liner brush also add little water to the color mix and start using this light green shade to create these fine lines which is just going to be the base for a flower so you can always add little water to your color mix so that the brush can move very smoothly and you can create these fine lines remember you can always lighten down the shade of the color mix so that it starts appearing much more 3d so here at this stage as you can see it's very light in shade and the moment the flower will start going upwards it will go near the light area so it will become lighter in shade so you can always remember that and you will see that we will be adding very lighter shade of flowers and you know those bright lights on the top area later so let's quickly do that and add these fine lines to create the grass and the flowers now we're going to be adding flowers on top for that i picked up this flat brush and i'm using the color directly i'm not adding any water to it so that the natural texture of the flower can be achieved so you just have to tap there and you will be able to create these floral and these very beautiful flowers there and in case you have an old flat brush, you can bring that in use right now and use that for creating the flowers as well. It's going to have that kind of uneven texture that creates more natural looking flowers. Now to add a lot of different other flowers and small tiny elements on the background, I'm just going to be splattering the color like this. For that, it's important that if in case you want to cover the top area, it's going to be much more safer for you. So you can always do that. This done, let's go ahead and fix the horizon level. So I'm going to be adding a lot of plants and some kind of flowers that are going to be present at a distance. So you can always do that and always lighten down the shade of the flower at this stage of time. We're now going to be adding the final detailings and finishing the entire look of the painting. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed painting this with me and in case you plan to recreate it, then don't forget to share them with me on my Instagram. Till then take care and thanks for watching. Bye!